Hey there, Libra. Welcome to your February bonus reading. Uh, in this reading, we are just going to jump right in here and do a regular old Celtic cross and see what comes up with uh, for you. So you show up as the Queen of Swords in your current general energies right away. And uh, I just feel like that is you. So, you know, whenever you show up as yourself, you're, it puts you in a position of power and strength, allows you to get what you want from the reading. So I like when people show up as like, you know, their sign or, um, you know, as a card that could represent their sign, like the Queen of Swords really puts you into a position of power and strength, like I said. Uh, so I feel like you are very focused on the future. I mean, literally, she has her back to the past. In the past, you have the Five of Wands, which is conflict and competition. So it looks to me like you are bossing up here with the Queen of Wands. Doesn't matter what gender you are either. Uh, you know, Queen of Wands is just about kind of, um, you know, learning as you go. She that, you know, she is my card of learning as you go, figuring things out, being bold, being assertive. Uh, she's also my card of kind of like taking a risk as well. Um, She's the only Wands court card that does not have uh, salamanders on her cloak, so she is not protected from risk. And um, it basically says that she has to take a risk anyway. <laughs> uh, you start off here with this marriage card. We're going to pull oracle cards for each column row, whatever you want to call it. I don't care. But uh, you have this marriage card in your first row, and uh, this would really represent kind of like how you're entering into the reading. You know, some of you could want love. We do see love here, but I'm also getting that this just could be a connection to something that you've been working on. You know, here's the thing is that in your future feelings that, you know, I take everything to, into account when I do a reading. So like, yes, sure, there could be love here, but you have these six of cups, which also could represent love, but it's showing up in the area of your future feelings. Six of cups to me comes up sometimes in like an area like the future feelings when we are, um, you know, working on something that we've been working on for a while that hasn't been working. And so Six of Cups to me can represent a gift from the universe. And the gift we usually receive is forward movement. And uh, I kind of feel that this is more of like a marriage to an idea, like you're committing to um, a new option in your life. But like I said, it does not have to be love. And I, as a matter of fact, I feel, you know, for some of you, it isn't. Uh, although I do feel there's love here. But um, like I said, I kind of feel it's coming up in other parts of the reading. Again, you start with the Queen of Swords. We talked about it. You have the Eight of Pentacles as your crossing energy. I feel like a lot of people feel this way right now. Eight of Pentacles is diligent hard work. The crossing energy can be what hurts you or helps you. And I feel for a lot of you, like the problem here is that, um, you know, you could be like wondering what your steps should be, like what you should do or, or um, <laughs> like what steps to take, you know. So, you, you know, sometimes I think we have an, our eyes on accomplishing a goal, wish, dream or, you know, whatever the hell we're doing, right? And it's like we don't really, we're not sure what steps to take. We don't know if we should be moving forwards or backwards. We don't know if we should be, you know, taking a leap of faith or what. So I kind of get that feeling here, more of like a questioning energy where you're like questioning what your next step should be, questioning whether or not you're doing the right thing. We're going to clarify through. That's really all I'm getting here. But, um, you know, we'll clarify through and see what else comes up there. Uh, in the area of your thoughts, you have the Eight of Wands. Like, I really like this. You know, Eight of Wands in the area of thoughts can represent like racing thoughts, your thoughts you know, racing and uh, things like that. So it can be a little bit of a challenge, but Eight of Wands to me is a direction. And uh, Eight of Wands is a card that, you know, traditionally is the arrows of love, meaning that you tell the universe what you want and the universe responds with like sign, symbol, synchronicities, and, you know, but mostly in love. But really, uh, you know, it could be in any area of your life where you're like telling the universe what you want and the universe is responding with signs, symbols, synchronicities. So, um, you know, it's about having a goal, like aiming at a goal and accomplishing it. It's part of like a quick success, quick conclusion. So I think that your mind is pointing in the right direction. It's like your thoughts are correct or you are thinking about the right thing. To further confirm that, you have the sun in your foundation. Um, so I've been seeing the sun a lot in these readings, which is pretty crazy. Uh, I switch decks every reading, if you don't know. So you know, it always kind of surprises me when a card repeats itself multiple times because, like, you know, if, if this were, if I were to use the same deck over and over and over again, in a card we're repeating, I I could say like, oh, okay, it's like sticking in the deck or there's something going on here, but. Uh, you know, I can't say that. <laughs> so uh, I don't know. It's, it always surprises me. Maybe, you know, maybe I'm simple, but, uh, you know, it, it always kind of surprises me. And the sun's come up a lot. The sun makes the whole entire reading more positive. But, you know, what I will say is that the sun is a card of attention on a direction. The sun shines a light on things that we need to pay attention to in life with inspiration or excitement or enthusiasm. So if you are having those types of feelings towards an idea, a person, a direction, whatever it is, the sun is basically confirmation that that is the correct direction. So whatever you're thinking about, 
I would move towards it because, you know, the sun says it will be very successful. We also see a lot of childlike energy here uh, going this way. Sun is your inner child. The six of cups can also represent your inner child or childlike energy. I do believe we are in like a more playful time as well. So, you know, I encourage everyone to do this, but I definitely, it's, it's coming up for you in this reading. I would definitely encourage you to be more childlike, be more playful, um, you know, kind of like open up to new ideas, ask a lot of questions, things like that. In your past for the energy you're moving past, you have a five of wands. You know, again, pretty simple. You're moving away from conflict and competition or you're moving away from people who cause conflict and competition in your life. Like I said, take it how it resonates. Um, and obviously this is a good thing. Uh, you're moving away from competition. So, you know, you're moving away from people who cause problems in your life or who cause issues. And like I said, I feel like this is really just a good thing, not a bad thing, just in general. Uh, you have the, <coughs> excuse me, you ha you have the change card in the past as well. Uh, this change card, I actually really love this card. <laughs> um, there's like this car on it, but it's like the you know the original Model T that's uh, showing up here on this change card, and it kind of reminds me of the time that we're in. You know, I always bring up, you know, I used to work in advertising. I mean, I still do, but, you know, on the side, but, um, you know, I, it used to be my main job, right? And, um, you know, it, uh, there's like a famous advertisement by Mercedes, which said, um, you know, the advertisement said there will never be more than like 100 cars on the road or something like that, right? So Mercedes was trying to be a luxury brand. And, you know, they were trying to say, like, if you own a Mercedes, you're like one of a 100, right? And obviously that wasn't true. <laughs> so uh, this card always reminds me of that. And it also reminds me that like when the car first came out, people fought against five wands they fought against the card i mean this is pluto and aquarius we have pluto and aquarius right now it will retrograde once more into capricorn but i keep telling people like don't be like one of those old people that was like no we need our horses we need to ride around on horses <laughs> right and, and was like fighting against the car um you know we're gonna see i think a lot of like amazing innovation a lot of opportunity, um, you know, just like a lot of good stuff. And if, I, like, I think if you're open and willing to learn that there will be more abundance than ever uh, coming in. So, you know, I encourage people to kind of like go with the flow, but it looks like you are just in general. Uh, in the area of your very near future, you have the, uh, uh, the, um, I can't spit it out, the temperance card. I was, I kept wanting to say the Sagittarius card. So some of you could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Sagittarius and Leo stand out to me here. No Aries this time, Libra. So there you go. But, you know, the temperance card is about turning one thing into another. And like I said, I think we all have to like update our skills and, you know, kind of like encourage people to come up with new ways of doing things. Um, you know, encourage people to use like new, um, new, new like technologies and things like that. And that's what I would pay attention to here. You know, it's like, you know, uh, people like I'm running a class right now and uh, teaching people about YouTube. And, you know, it's like I get so many questions, like people worried about AI. I'm like, first off, AI is not even close to being as good, like as good enough to do a video. It's like, I know there's a lot of YouTube videos that are like, oh, create a video with AI, but it's not even close, right? <laughs> it's like what you put in is what you're gonna get out and it's mostly garbage. So, um, you know, I, I tell people like, first off, we're not even there yet where the robots are gonna take over, right? But at the same time, we can work with these energies. It's like, yeah, maybe the, they're not, these tools aren't good enough to, you know, totally take our job yet, but, um, you know, they might be good enough to help supplement what you're doing or to help educate you or whatever. So, you know, I kind of get that feeling here with the temperance card where it's saying, you know, there might be some sort of technology or, uh, there might be some part of your job or something you can learn. And I just used AI as an example. It doesn't have to be AI. AI. It could be something, whatever, something else. Uh, you know, maybe your boss wants everyone to do things a new way in the business. And again, I would, I, I'm just getting this energy of needing to look at it as an opportunity, right? It's like, sometimes I think there's a change in work or business and we kind of get salty about it. It's like, you know, I, I'll tell you this. I, I worked for Starbucks since from the time I was like 21 until I don't even remember <laughs> forever. I worked for Starbucks, right? Or I, I think I was actually 20 when I started working there. If I remember correctly, I actually don't remember but whatever, right? I worked there forever. Every time there was a change, everybody was always like complaining and, you know, moaning and, you know, all that other stuff about every single little change that happened. But it's like some of them were actually good changes that helped and made things better. So, um, you know, I kind of get that energy here for some reason. Why is this important? I have no freaking clue, but there you go. So it's, you know, it's popping into my head. Uh, you have this um, house card. So, uh, you know, what I would say here is that um, you know, I would focus on things that provide more safety, security, comfort, protection. Again, the house, some of you could be moving. Sure, you have the chariot here as well. And that would tell me, based off where it's showing up, you could be moving for um, family or like social reasons. And, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But really, I feel this is more talking about making sure that you are doing things that increase your safety, security, comfort, protection, like, you know, saving money, um, improving your finances, any of that stuff would be a good idea. Uh, you have the two of cups here coming up in the next few months. Definitely a really solid love connection 
if you want to come up, if you want love over the next few months. Uh, like it looks like this year, you even end with this privileged lady card. And either like, you know, again, if you're, if you are wanting to date a lady, then they could be privileged to be with you. If you are the lady, you might feel very privileged to be with this person. So that would tell me that you're attracting like a really solid person into your life. Uh, the other thing I'm getting is that I think all of you need to listen to your higher self going this way. We have eight of wands, which is like communication in your brain because it's showing up in the area of your thoughts. You have the two of cups, which is you and your higher self. And the two of cups also represents communication. This right here is a staff of Hermes and it just represents communicating with your higher self. So you might be getting some ideas or some inspirations, like I said, and I would definitely pay attention to that. Uh, next in your closest relationships, you have the chariot. Again, this is all relationships, not just love. And so there could be some victories. Uh, you know, I always look at the chariot as kind of like a card of alignment sometimes. And you know, this, so you could be finding people who you align with better. And sorry, I'm just dropping cards all over the place today. But uh, the reason it kind of represents alignment is that he has these stars in his canopy, uh, these moons on his shoulders here, and it represents as above, so below. So you could be just attracting people at this time uh, who are in alignment with your beliefs, your ideas, your energy, which is a good thing. Uh, he's also leaving behind the city behind him, and he's doing this to set himself apart. Uh, we, you know, clearly put on Aquarius, and especially for you air signs, I would say is all about setting yourself apart, making yourself unique. Um, you know, yet I always say that, like, yes, Pluto and Aquarius is about the collective, but that does not mean we should become some sort of hive mind where everybody believes exactly the same thing, right? So, um, in, where where everybody lives the same way, it's like you might as well be a robot at that. That point. So, you know, what I would say here is that it looks to me like you're more finding people who align with you and, you know, who have similar ideas. In the area of your future feelings, you have the Six of Cups. Again, really good card to get in the future feelings. It, you know, it just says that you're feeling good. Um, you know, it is a card of a soulmate as well. So there definitely could be a, an element of love here. But I feel like you're feeling protected and like your ideas are protected. I also feel you're feeling like you can be more playful, um, that you can be more childlike, that you can ask more questions. Um, that you can have more fun in life. So, you know, I just feel this is really good energy. Um, you know, I always look at the Six of Cups as a gift from the universe. And usually the gift we receive from the Six of Cups is a turnaround, meaning, you know, we've been bumping up against an obstacle in some area of our life. We get the Six of Cups and we overcome that obstacle. So you could be feeling like you're getting a gift from the universe as well. Uh, your outcome is the Queen of Wands. So feeling very bold, assertive, kind of really feeling like you can accomplish things not really caring what people think as well. You know, she, she kind of doesn't really care. She does things that she wants to do, right? And so it doesn't matter what gender you are. I'm just saying she because of her. But, uh, you know, whatever you want to do in your life, it looks to me like you're doing it. Uh, you have this privileged lady card. Again, I, I feel either you or a person you're attracting is going to feel very pr privileged uh, to be with you. Uh, I also feel that you are, you could just be feeling more privileged just in general. It's like things are changing, things are improving. Uh, you, it looks to me like you're increasing your abundance as well. So let's clarify through and see what the cards say about all of that. Um, did I miss anything? No, let's see. Uh, with the Queen of Swords, here you go. With the Queen of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles, you have the Chariot. Definitely could be a move for some of you. I would say that's the only thing I missed, although I, I did kind of talk about it. But Eight of Wands, thinking about moving, House card, Chariot, Chariot. So, you know, some of you could be moving. I feel like whatever you're working on is clearly going to be a victory. Uh, you know, again, if you're coming, I you know, this is going to sound kind of lame, Libra, <laughs> but I kind of feel like this reading is just confirmation. You know, it, it's like if you came here with a question in mind, like, should I keep working on this project? Should I keep, you know, should I go get that job? Should I ask that person out? Should I go on that date? This, is, this reading is just a big yes, as far as I'm concerned. I feel it's saying like, whatever you're thinking about is the right direction, right? But it, it's just that simple. With the Eight of Wands, you have the King of Wands. Yes, love it. Um, if you're thinking about talking to a fire sign, uh, if you're thinking about having a fire sign in your life, then yes, big, a big yes for you, Libra. It doesn't have to be a fire sign either. It could just be someone who's very bold, assertive, hardworking, you know, entrepreneurial. I always look at the King of Wands as the entrepreneur, but he also, he is someone who has foresight. You know, he is maybe very futuristic. And it's kind of funny because we were, we've been, you know, us babbling on about AI and stuff. So again, you could be uh, attracting a person who works in AI. You could be attracting a person who, um, you know, does something very futuristic or, um, you know, it's like they might do something old, but they might have a new spin on it as well. So there you go. And again, divine counterparts. With the sun, you have the page of pentacles, definitely a new person. 
you know, coming up here. I feel like this is saying that there will be news or communication from a new person. I always look at the Page of Pentacles as communication, just, you know, coming in for you. So there could be good news from a person or there could be a person coming in telling you they're interested, you know, take it how it resonates. But this would definitely be a very solid connection. Uh, I also feel that, again, he is like very focused on that one pentacle on the Page of Pentacles. And there is something in this reading about focus or you know, like what you focus on or something like that. <laughs> so I feel like some of you are definitely like focusing in the right direction. With the five of wands, you have the lovers. Uh, so this is coming up in the past. You could be leaving behind a relationship or a situationship or whatever it was that caused conflict in your life. And I feel like you're closing out chapters is what I'm hearing here. I feel like you're looking for a more peaceful life. Again, the six of cups as your future feelings, this would be a very, you know, peaceful life in general. Does It could include love. It doesn't have to include love, but you know, it's like the six of cups is a more, you know, carefree, go with the flow type of energy here. And so, you know, it'd be, it's, it's much better, you know, <laughs> there, there you go. With the uh, temperance card, you have the eight of pentacles. I would like, don't be afraid to put in the work to, um, you know, to, to transform a situation. Don't be afraid to put in the work to, um, you know, to make something better, you know, or, you know, like easier. It's like, you know, again, not to talk about myself here, but again, you know, in my course that I, I, I've been teaching, it's like, you know, I've, I've shown people like how to use AI, like the right way and how to get good ideas from it, which is pretty much all it's good for right now. But, you know, it's like, it, you know, I, the reason I'm talking about this is because I feel like the temperance card is saying there is something in your life that could transform your life if you just kind of, you know, like wiggle it around, if you just play around with it, you know? <laughs> so I know that sounds stupid, but you know, like I said, there's like clearly something. It could be a technology. It could be a AI. It could be the job you have right now. It's like maybe your boss is obsessed with doing a job one way, but maybe you know a better way to do things. And maybe you just have to prove it, right? So maybe maybe that's what the wiggle is that I kind of sense here. So I hope that makes sense. But Eight of Pentacles says your hard work will, will pay off. Eight of Pentacles is material success on the horizon. So it really says that again, you will find success by, you know, kind of, you know, figuring this out or, you know, putting it out into the world. With the two of cups, you have the nine of cups. Yeah, total fulfillment with a person. So if you're looking for love, this looks amazing. You know, this could be a wish or a dream come true with a person. Um, you know, so this could be something very fulfilling, something that re you really desire. Again, I can't get, you have a lot of cards that I would t say are about, you know, aiming in the right direction, being in alignment. The set, the nine of cups, you know, this guy here, he's meant to look chubby and he's about to have a feast. And the story of the card is that um, he has had a feast before. So what the hell am I talking about? What it, what it means is that if you want something, you have to have it before you can have it. And people always say, how is that possible? I want love, but I've never had love. I'm like, well, go love a dog. Go love a cat. Go love nature. Uh, if, if people always say to me, I don't have money. I'm like, go pick up money in the parking lot, right? I never pass a penny, right? <laughs> Anytime I see it, I pick it up because when you walk past a penny, you're saying, screw you universe. I don't want abundance, right? So it might sound ridiculous, but I don't know. It seems to be working for me. So, you know, like I said, and it's free. It's like free money on the ground. So you might as well pick it up, right? Uh, but again, there are other things you can do. You can go, you can adopt the habits of abundant people. You don't have to be abundant. And the Nine of Cups is all about bathing in the energy of what you want. You know, it's like, the reason I stress this so much with the Nine of Cups is like, yes, it's a card of wish fulfillment, but you can't just like w make a wish and sit on your ass. You have to make the wish and bathe in the energy, right? So that's what I would do there. Uh, with the chariot, you have the queen of swords. Again, yes, definitely you are very focused, aiming in the right direction. Like I said, this is just a big yes reading is what I would call this. Uh, with the six of cups, you have the knight of pentacles. I, like I, maybe you've been interested in a person who's been moving very slowly or hasn't been making any moves at all. And you definitely could be getting into something with a person who's finally making a move towards you or uh, you know, it's finally opening up to you. So definitely that looks good. You know, if something has been slow in your love life, it looks to me like it's speeding up if you want love. Uh, with the Queen of Wands, you have the High Priestess. This could be a very intuitive connection as well as what I'm getting. So you could just feel like you could just feel something, <laughs> you know, like more with a person or, you know, it's like maybe you kind of have a dream one night and then you like meet a person. You're like, I swear, I swear I know this person. And it was like a person from your dreams. Literally, I kind of get that energy. Um, this is also a card of potential. So again, yes, the Queen of Wands, uh, sorry, the uh, High Priestess can represent potential. I mean, she can represent intuition, but really she's a card of unlimited potential. She has no roof over her head on this card and it kind of represents unlimited potential. 
So if you have any opportunities, I feel like there like there are no limits to what you can accomplish with your new opportunities. So uh, let's see what's going on for you here. And uh, you have this dagger card that says fears, worries, tense situation. I want to show you this right now. You have this older woman card that says dealings with relationships with an older woman. You also have this rat card that says someone is working against you or behind your back. So I would be, number one, I'm getting like year of the rat. I don't know anything about Chinese astrology. So whatever. Um, again, if you know someone's birthday and you happen to know that they were born in the year of the rat, I would be careful of that person <laughs> uh, here because again, I feel like these three cards are all connected um, and it could be someone who was born in um, February is what I wanted to say. So right there, it could be an Aquarius or a Pisces um, person, but I would be careful of this person. I also like, I would be careful if you are interested in a new person um, in love. Like there, might, this might be like an ex coming in again. I've had a lot of that this year for whatever reason of like, like people dating a person their ex coming in and like messaging you somewhere on social media or something being like they're a cheater they're this they're that but it's like not true their ex is just crazy and salty so you know i would be very careful of that um with this energy you have the shield card that says you need to defend yourself i i again i think that we're in a time just based off the astrology where we do not need to defend ourselves so again i defending yourself will just make you look guilty what i would say is the best defense is to ignore something and that's what i would do here you know obviously if someone's attacking you or something different story you have this grapes card it says time to go out and have fun yes we saw a lot of very social energy in this reading eight of wands is my card of socializing chariot in the area of your closest relationships i think that socializing would be very good for you you have this ring card it says a marriage will take place either in romance or business are you kidding you have two marriage cards here definitely a solid connection like i don't think it's going to happen right now uh, but you know again you could meet the person you'll marry in the future if you are with a person again then absolutely it could be like sooner than you think you have this parrot card it says someone will gossip about you and all your secrets who cares let them talk I love when people talk about me. It always gets me more views. It's like a, like a couple months ago, someone tried to cancel me on Twitter for something I didn't say. They totally made it up, but I don't know, seemed to work out well for me. <laughs> so, uh, and every time I mention it, they talk about me more. So I just keep talking about it so that they keep sharing my, so they, they just keep ch sharing my channel. It's awesome, free advertising. It's like, why would I not want that, right? So there you go. Uh, you have this unicorn card. It says, use your intuition to make beneficial changes. Um, yeah, I, like again, you have the uh, high priestess at the end. I would use your intuition. Pretty good reading though here, Libra. I think it's just a big yes from the universe. So love it. Thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your month.